with some tools, time, and material, we're only limited by our imagination. All right, so let me back up for a moment. Here is the K-Bar Becker SE, sort of Frankenstein's monster of a knife. I've done a video on this. If you've seen it, you know I was not super content with the sheath. This is the stock sheath, hard plastic, and you know, meant to be used as a neck knife. I really didn't want to use it and haven't used it as a neck knife, so I was proposed with an opportunity to make some mods to this sheath myself, and that's what I've done. And I want to share that with you today. So let me start grabbing all the components for this, these mods that I did, and I am super, super happy with the way this turned out. There's a ferro rod. What's that? What's that? What's that? Well, that's the hardware. So now I want to assemble this, but before I start assembling, I just want to talk a little bit about what I did. This is all made out of roughly eight to nine ounce leather, veg tan leather, which I hand dyed. This, uh, all this leather was completely done by hand, which is always nice to do that. I did have to actually split some of the leather down to make it thinner in certain places, but I'm not going to go into great detail about how I made this, but part of me wanted to do this was to see if you are interested in actually see you know if you want to see me do these sorts of projects uh, we could figure it out if it's really really desired i need a flathead screwdriver for this and conveniently there's one on this wanger ranger all right so now i need to get out a couple of these screws some people call these Chicago screws. I think at Tandy, I did buy these at Tandy, but I think what they call them is like a post and screw. I'm gonna get out four to start. <laughs> Hope I don't drop any of these. And I'm gonna unscrew. I'll show you, I'll show you close up what they are. So you have your screw here, then you have your post, which is threaded. And one side's nice and clean. And the other side obviously is for the flathead. I use six of these total, so I want to get these first four unmarried, unhitched. All right, let's get the first piece going. Actually. Had a little bit of a clearance issue, so I'm putting these two on first. Next, I'm going to put on the back plate, if you will. <sighs> Flies are out today. It tickles my hand. Come on. Okay, got that all lined up. I'm back up. I'm gonna stick the screw through here. 
and try to get that to meet the meet the post. Then I think it'll be a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah, all the difference. Hand tighten that one for now. Alright, final screw. Alright, let's take a look at it. Almost nearly complete. Let's take a look at the ferro rod loop. You can see there's a little bit of, a little row of stitching right here. Black Owl logo stamped in there. Bam, looks real nice. I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy with this, how this turned out for being my first attempt. And just the holes, the configuration of the holes in the stock sheath just lent itself to uh, for me to be able to do these mods. If they weren't in that configuration, I wouldn't have been able to do this, but it's some things just work out. So I do have this sewn just to keep it, you know, a little bit more of its structure and it is contact cemented down here. All right, let's put the ferro rod in the loop now. And I did make it large enough to accommodate these, you know, larger diameter fire steels. And it's really tight at the moment, but through time that's going to wear down. So I have a piece of shock cord on there to keep that flush or keep that nice and tight in there. Bam, look at that. Look how handsome that looks. All right, let's get the knife in there now too. Check that out. That is sexy. That brown and black just looks so nice. I'm very proud of myself for this. I, I really like the way it turned out. I really did, and it just to me, it's completely just took this sort of, you know, custom stock setup and just completely, you know, made this 3,000 times better in my opinion. I will put it on the belt and show you what it looks like, but just having the the hard plastic with, you know, the leather, the natural material softening, softening that all up and completely changing the utility of this rig. Oh man, I'm really, really happy with this. Not my cleanest work with some of the leather down here, but I'm super, super happy with this. I really am. Let me know what you think. But I'm going to get on my belt now and just show you how it rides. If you're going to continue watching, you're going to have to pay. <laughs> Doesn't that just look so nice sitting on the belt? I am very enthusiastic about this. I'm really excited to start using this now. Rides just low enough that this handle's not going to poke me in my love handle. <laughs> and uh, the lanyard really comes and helped uh, handy too. And grab that and I use just actually the belt in the loop on the sheath itself sort of as a thumb ramp to get this out of the sheath. Mm, best of both worlds. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a really fun project for me. And like I said before, let me know if, uh, if you're interested to see, to see these types of projects, um, because when we started doing Black Owl, we decided we want to do everything outdoors. We already we felt there was already enough people doing tabletop reviews, doing things indoors. We want to do everything outdoors. But if you really want, if you really want to see these projects I do, you know, at home, let me know. And if if there's enough, you know, desire, we'll do that. So thanks for watching, and this is Crick signing out with Black Owl Outdoors. Later, turtles.